Hey, hey, welcome back to another episode on Best In and today we are still in Bengaluru. So we're covering another awesome place from Bengaluru. This is one of those OGs in its class. It can be qualified as a cafe, it can be called a bake house, but some of them use this for a day joint and sometimes they just go there for a good meal. This is Glenn's Bake House in Bengaluru. So Glenn's Bakehouse was originally started in 2010 and it was located in Indranagar. But the place that we are covering today is in Whitefield because it's got one of the best ambience in all the places that they have across the uh, city. And you'll know why we covered Whitefield over all the other places. So the signature of Glenn's Bakehouse has always been to give a very nice, comfy, cozy, warm and this homely feel to an otherwise really amazing establishment for food. They're the OGs for a couple of things in Bengaluru. One, they're one of the first people to introduce wood-fired pizzas in Bengaluru. Two, they're the reason why red velvet cupcakes became a massive thing in Bengaluru. Let's start with the Red Velvet Cupcakes. These ones are the mini ones. You get them in the regular size as well. But I like them because they're like a short size and I can just swallow one in one whole bite. Um, the Red Velvet sponge in itself is pretty moist. It's not too sweet. And this is how I think Red Velvet should be made, you know, in general. And they come with a nice cream cheese frosting on the top. And I haven't had any other red velvets in the city that quite match ones that you get at Glen's Bakehouse. Now let's talk about the wood fire pizzas. Usually they don't do the half and half that we've done in this video. And they've very kindly obliged to our request. Um, we've covered the Andhra style hot and hot pizza and the barbecue chicken frontier pizza. My roots are from Andhra and I love a little bit of spice in almost all kinds of food that I eat. And this pizza just pleases my palate on another level because it hits the spice on the right notes. It has those flavors that Andhra usually use with their food. And um, most importantly, it's a pizza and I love pizza. The other thing that we're talking about is a barbecue chicken pizza. It has this classic uh, barbecue sauce base and it comes with this chicken which is slightly sweetish because of the uh, barbecue sauce but it's very well countered with like hints of green chilies here and there placed strategically in the pizza to make your bite that much more better. So both the pizzas come with a very flat bread and the bread is very well toasted in the oven and uh, it gives you a very nice crunchy crust and I think this just elevates the entire eating experience by that much more. So anytime a Bangalorean enters a bakery, the first thing they'll ask for is, is there a puff? It could be egg, it could be wedge, whatever it is. We need our puffs. We love our puffs. So I asked for the chicken puff and trust me, this is one of a kind. It was nice and wafery. It was not too buttery. It was nice and flaky. And uh, the filling wasn't too spicy. It was one of those things that uh, just went well with uh, the entire bite. So yeah, go ahead and try their uh, chicken puff and tell me what you think about it. While we are on the topic of baked goods and something which is puff related, let's talk about the chocolate croissant. I love this croissant. I mean, it's got all the ingredients that I look for. It's got chocolate, it's nice and fluffy, 
It's nice and flaky. It has beautiful crunch. It has beautiful chewiness to it. And to top it off, the chocolate gooeyness just adds that much more decadence, if I may call it, to my bite. And I love it for these reasons. And I think you should also go ahead and try these for the same reasons. So, all this food also needs something to be accompanied in the beverage section. I suggest the Glen's Bakehouse Signature Coffee. Now, it's this really nice posh version of a filter coffee and it comes in two layers. One is this nice, strong foam filled with coffee and the other is a very mild version of uh, coffee and milk. And you just mix it and then you take a sip and then you're at bliss. This coffee is not too strong, neither is it too mild. It's somewhere in between that hits the sweet spot and you just come back for more, man. That's what it is. I know, I know what you're thinking. All this richness and what about the healthy part of it? Yes, yes, I get you. So we'll talk about a salad right now. This is the grilled chicken corn salad. And it's one of those things that I myself recommend because I would love to eat those every time I'm at uh, uh, any of the Glen's Bakehouse joints. And uh, it's this beautiful salad with like uh, cucumber and lettuce. And it, it comes with this grilled chicken, which has been marinated in garlic and lime. And um, it's a beautiful bite. It's just got a little bit of ground pepper on top of it. This is, and this is one of those very mild salads that you would have because the dressing is also not too heavy. And yeah, you can stay healthy and you can eat well. Now let's talk about a salad in bread. I mean, I mean a sandwich. Okay, this is a smoked chicken sandwich with uh, sesame seeds. Um, this is not your usual run-of-the-mill uh, smoked chicken uh, that is used as the filling. Uh, it has a few spices mixed. Personally, I think the uh, smoked chicken uh, could have done with a little less spices, but then that still doesn't make this a bad sandwich. I think the sandwich pulls its weight very well. Overall, it's a very nice bite for the Indian palate. The beauty of the sandwich is it comes with uh, some caramelized onions and some uh, lettuce as well. So overall, it is a very good bite. Um, the flavor of smoked chicken, I don't know if it's um, me or maybe it's just my preference. I would have liked it with a little less uh, amount of spices in it, but overall, still a very good sandwich. We cannot finish this episode without ending it with one of the best desserts that this city has seen, the frozen mud pie. It's this squarish piece of caramel and nuts and all these other decadent things put together and like frozen and then served with, you with a little bit of whipped cream and like a cherry on the top. And oh, ho, 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 ho. This is all light. This is one of the best desserts in the city. And if you ever get to uh, Glen's Bakehouse, you must, must try this dessert because it's one of those desserts that will just elevate the entire experience of consuming desserts in the city. Glen's Bakehouse. It is another worthy entrant into this list of the best in Bengaluru and there are no doubts about why it should be on this list. Why didn't you go ahead and check this place out or if you already checked this place out, do leave a comment below and let me know what you think about this joint and what you like at Glen's Bakehouse in general. Also, do like and share this video with your friends, family and um, anyone else you want to share it with. Do subscribe to our channel and until next time, keep chewing and chugging. Hell yeah!